what is it about some conversations that makes them so much more daunting than others? I would suggest there's something about difficult conversations that can make them feel like a zero-sum game. In other words, they put you in a position where you feel like you're being forced to make a choice uh, between two things that are important to you. On the one hand, there is some concrete task that's important for you to achieve as a result of your conversation. And on the other hand, there's your relationship with the other person in the conversation, which can feel like it's under threat directly as a result of wanting to achieve that objective. Let's say you have to give feedback to a colleague after watching them perform a procedure. They made a few mistakes. Ouch. In fact, at one stage, you actually had to step in to prevent a disaster. Worse yet, they are not showing any evidence that they realize how poorly they performed. And you're stuck. Oh man! You're stuck because you know you need to provide this feedback so that they can improve and perform this procedure better in the future. But you worry that if you do, you will damage the relationship you have with that person. Alternatively, you could choose to prioritize the relationship and either water down your feedback or just focus on the positives and maybe even avoid giving the feedback altogether. This is a difficult conversation. Difficult conversations come in four flavors. One, difficult feedback. Two, breaking bad news. Three, a negotiation or a shared decision-making process. And four, resolving conflict. Sometimes the difficult conversation in front of you is a terrifying rainbow of all these flavors put together. All these kinds of difficult conversations can leave us feeling like we have to trade off a relationship for a task. Our response to these kinds of situations can vary depending on our personality, but usually it falls into one or two camps. One, we sacrifice the relationship for the task and we, we blunderbust our way through. And in the process, we get thick skinned and distant so that we don't have to deal with the pain that we're causing others and ourselves. The other strategy is that we become avoidant, ineffective. And as a result, a lot of the important tasks that are our responsibility don't get done. And that is why it is so important to realize that this idea that difficult conversations are a zero sum game, this idea is a myth. There is another way. With the right frameworks and skills, we can use challenging interactions to achieve what we need to achieve. And at the same time, grow the trust and the connection that we have with the other person involved. Will this work every single time? No, these are not superpowers but they are pretty close to superpowers and they will dramatically increase your odds of success no matter what the communication challenge is in front of you. So to take action on this concept, I want you to consider a difficult conversation that you might need to have. If you don't have one in front of you right now, maybe recall one that you've been faced with previously. And now consider what is it about that conversation that appears so difficult? What is the task in front of you? Is it feedback? Is it, is it bad news that you have to break? A negotiation? Is it a conflict? How does it threaten a relationship that you have? Or perhaps rather than threatening a relationship, it's the prospect of an already bad relationship getting worse. Then consider the possibility that this feeling of having to make that choice is actually an illusion. Consider instead the possibility of achieving your task and simultaneously improving your relationship. Take some time to picture in your mind very clearly how that might look. And knowing that this outcome is a realistic possibility, almost an inevitable possibility, once you have the skills, imagine how much confidence that will give you in going into any kind of conversation. I'll see you in the next video.